this is the first game of Offworld I've played in at least a week. Wait, no, did I play on the weekend a little? I might have played on the weekend, so maybe six days ago. Um, but hopefully I am not completely out of practice here. Let's raise the volume a little. And, well, given my slow scanning, maybe I am a little out of practice. Okay, let's see. Geothermal. Medium and low carbon. Aluminum. Well, there's probably something better that I can grab. Uh, well, there's a high carbon. Yeah, let's go scavenger right here. Quarry, quarry. Mine. High levels of iron found. High levels of aluminum found. Ah, uh, there's the high aluminum. Alright. Who do we have? We've got two scientific, two scavenger, including ourselves, and one expansive. We could sell down to go for something off the black market, but I think I'm fine as is for now. Scientific colony expanded. Although, if we want to sell down a little of that aluminum, could we get up to the 2000? Uh, let's sell down a little more here. Upgrade now, yes. And power. Water's cheapish. Let's see, what's silicon looking like? Or should I get into some carbon here? Lots of silicon. I don't think I need to race for high silicon. But if I want to do fast upgrades, let's see. Let's go for one more carbon. Yeah, Carbon's got a good price going for it. Let's go Carbon and then we'll drop uh, a Wind as well. And do I want to up Aluminum? Aluminum actually has a fairly fair price here. 33. Drop a mine there. And then we can go for Wind. And let's see. Silicon's still low, water's still low. We don't need to worry about that right now. Definitely want to get into wind. So adjacent to the base, or right over this water, let's see. Somewhere where I could drop a triangle later, or switch it over to something else. Let's drop wind here. But uh, we do want to keep an eye on what everyone else is putting out. There's solar. Let's do double wind then. Do I want to cover the water? Now we'll go over this way. Now we do need to buy up some more glass here. Uh, so sell down some more of that aluminum. And then maybe buy up a claim. So we've got good carbon generation. Let's sell some more of this down. We could upgrade right now. Perhaps we should. We'll upgrade and then go into water and food by the looks of it. Alright, so water pump. Two water pumps? I think we can get away with just the one since no one else is on this side of the map. And then we'll go buy into more of that glass. And then probably go for farms here. Yep, farm time. Alright, let's drop farms here. And then we'll go for the claim. We do need to keep an eye on what everyone else is doing. So this guy's going into triple water rather than triple farms, which is interesting. He, being scientific, it would make sense if he just went straight into farms. And this guy, this guy, these guys, okay, they're not making anything too exotic. No one's gotten into glass yet. We might want to do that ourselves, and 
Uh, is there anything valuable that I can sell down? Or to get that claim, I, I was definitely slow to buy up the cheaper black market claims. I'll have to think about whether I want to be a little more aggressive on that in our next game. Definitely have an excess of carbon. Silicon is all sexually plentiful. All right, let's drop down another farm here. I'll need to sell down. Glass is expensive. A little of this aluminum and the farm. There we go. We're making reasonable money off the power. Our metal mines aren't really that good right now. We should probably go and drop a goon squad on the farms. Although, they're only making slightly more money than the wind. Alright, so let's grab a goon squad. Goon squad protect this guy. And then we'll need the glass, so... Sell on a bunch of that. We need 60, we're halfway there. And straight into the upgrade. Alright, straight into the upgrade. Has anyone else gotten into glass yet? There's a single glass right there. We can go hard into glass um, if we have the resources to pay for that. Looks like food is going to be more valuable there. So let's drop the fourth farm right there. And one of our power has been mutinied. We could drop another wind right here. And we might want to mutiny that back. So sell down all the food. Scientific colony expanded. We need that back, and then we probably want to drop a goon squad when that next unlocks. Now, we have two more claims to play with. I think going into glass is also going to make sense for us here. Drop two glass there. No one else has gone heavily into glass yet, at least that I can see. And let's sit on the food. By either the goon squad. Yeah, we'll definitely want the Goon Squad, so Goon Squad, Goon Squad protect the strongest wind tile. And then into water, the water is making reasonable money. Now the price of food is going down, we'll probably want to switch that up to something else soon enough. With the next expansion we're going to get into some more water, that price is definitely getting up there. Superconductors, sure, we could go for that. Seven thousand with the current price of power, we could drop or even replace some of this aluminum with wind. All right, I'll go nine thousand, but I don't think I want to go beyond that. Okay, fine, we'll go twelve thousand, but that'll be it. If Bullfighter wants to pay. 1400 or 14,000 for that, he's welcome to. Alright, let's switch out our aluminum for wind. And then, who do we want to slow down? Uh, this guy. How's that steel doing for him? Barely any money. The farms, the metal mines. Uh, well then. Let's see if we can blow that up. Defended. Disappointed in you. Alright, need silicon, we'll have to sell on the food for that, and then are these guys no longer making us money? Shut those guys off. Glass is still making us good money though, as is carbon. Okay, carbon's worthwhile. Upgrade. I'll go for water pumps. Maybe a few too many there. We can always switch them over to something else if uh, that doesn't seem quite right. And defend it for another 22. Let's grab another dynamite. Still on the water, we can turn the farms back on. 
And we want to move into, oh, glass is still really good. All right, definitely a glass triangle then, or a diamond. Something of ours is underground nuked. The high water is now a low. And we'll go and blow that up. Keep the price of power up. And we can replace these guys, uh, switch them over, at least that one over to water. That would be fine. Crashing water out, uh, we want to move into silicon here. Pick up this and high silicon over there or over here. Silicon quarry. Now, we'll probably want to buy up Star Paladin. He looks nice and cheap, although his tiles aren't exactly concentrated. Well, I guess since he's got so few tiles, that'll be fine too. Hey Rochambeau, welcome to the chat. Chat's a little quiet right now. Okay, power's crashed out. We probably want to switch these guys. Well, aluminum is also cheaper than power. Let's pick up a goon squad there. And what are the off-world prices looking like? Ah, fuel's worth a lot. So we can switch. Switch these guys over to reactors. Virtual motion, sure. those guys up for reactors, let's go squad protect Eight, some more of this stuff. And power is really cheap so I don't need that. We could switch these guys into reactors as well. Let's see, what else could possibly make you money here? Silicon is super expensive, but glass is more expensive, we'll keep that running. Hey, silly uh, <clears throat> excuse me. A ceiling is, in fact, a correct answer to the question of what is up. At least, that's the case for me, since we're indoors. Alright, uh, we need to free up money. Glass is still profitable, so sell down. All that water. Water is now super cheap. We can switch these guys over to, say, reactors as well. Sell down a bunch of that carbon. Glass is still good money. Reactors are good money. Uh, we can sell some of that glass down. It will make it cheaper for everyone else to upgrade. Okay, who do I want to slow down? Uh, both the scientifics are doing pretty well, as is this guy. Uh, this area is making a little too much money. Freeze that all down. And let's see. Let's start buying up Omar a little. He's nice and cheap. And if we are going for the buy on him, then we should probably sabotage anything that's making him good money. The black market is on oh, and we need to turn our glass off. Glass is now losing us money. Okay, but we can sell down a little glass there. So the, for the full buyout, I'm going to need 126,000, which I am still fairly far off from. Okay, what could I steal? Let's see, steel is making a lot of money. Let's uh, power search that down. Okay, I need to move into something more profitable, so that means turning these reactors off and switching them over to water. And this guy as well. Delete, delete. Uh, water pumps. Now, Bullfighter. Is this water shortage his doing? It doesn't look like it. He's not really heavily into water here. And with water being so cheap, let's or uh, power being so cheap, let's switch that up for water as well. There we go, all of the water pumps. 
It's all down there. And we'll turn these guys back on. Your stock is being bought. Your stock is being bought. Alright, do I want to start going off world? I do. Which means, well, let's buy some of our own stock here. Scrapping out the glass for an off-world, we'll have to save up for the electronics. Let's see, sell down here, sell down all the water, sell all the glass. Your stock is being bought. And we do need to start going off-world. Let's, do I want a second goon squad? No, I don't think I'll need that. Well, keep those guys on. All right, turn them off. Sell down the water. Turn the reactors on again soon. Scrap this guy. Go for the off-world. Your stock. Is Those guys would still be losing money. Let's buy up some more of our uncontrolled shares. Glass storage coming through, we should turn those glass furnaces back on. Although, actually, silicon's worth even more. We'll buy up some more of our uncontrolled shares here. And aluminum is dirt cheap for some reason or other. Turn these guys back on. Sell. Buy our last uncontrolled share and sell the glass. Okay, and we can turn the reactors back on. They are now profitable. Not very profitable, but still profitable. And we are going to want to switch these guys. Well, aluminum is super cheap. Let's buy that up while it's... Is that cheap? We are going to need aluminum to launch our rockets. And let's pick up a power surge. We're going to auto ship fuel. Which means knocking down the farms again. Virtual reality would be fine. Oops, I just did myself up. That's okay. Alright, so let's put up a pleasure dome then. Right over here. Delete that, and do we have enough for the pleasure dome? We need 4,000. Sell down the oxygen, some of that water, some of this carbon, all of that glass, shut off the glass, and build out a pleasure dome. And the glass can become something more useful. I'm just not sure what yet. Slant drawing and teleportation for our opponent here. Let's grab the power surge, power surge that down again. Alright, we'll switch these guys back over to farms. Off-world shipment launched. Look at all the money. And we're halfway to the buyout. Barely making money on fuel. Let's buy up a little more aluminum, because that gets more expensive. And we should push out another off-world then. Let's grab a goon squad, put that there, and we'll put our off-world there as well. Oh man, the pleasure dome is making so much money. Uh, we chems are getting a little out of control. Let's see. I guess that'd be DJ Joss, and that's pushing the chemicals. Uh, sell down some of that carbon, all of that food, a bunch of the oxygen, the silicon. We have another goon squad, and then what we'll do is put up another off world. Putting an off world over a resource isn't the best, it's a cheap way to clear a goon squad. Uh, using the underground nuke on it. And that being said, 
think we do want to underground nuke some stuff here, so in seven seconds we'll get right on that. Sell down a bunch of the water. Well, we can still make good money off of our water stockpile. We'll nuke that down. Side benefit of raising the price of the underground nuke. And let's buy up some of these uncontrolled shares here. Plot off in the middle of nowhere. That would be fine for silicon, I suppose. Alright, we'll drop a quarry there. Now, how close are we to that buyout? Not really that close. Who should we be sabotaging? The black market is on DJ line. here. Off-world shipment launched. Look good money off those farms. Still good money off of the steel, surprisingly. Alright, so we'll get over to buying out Omar Little. We need another 50,000, so selling the food works. These guys are still making us money. Fall down the oxygen, food to zero, bunch of the water. The black market is online. And getting back into glass would make sense as well here. Uh, aluminum's going back up in price. Let's see. Bunch of that carbon we can dump. And how close are we now? Another... Alright, there we've bought up Omar Little, thanks to the off-world shipment. And we should be shipping double fuel. Since uh, we now have two off-worlds. And let's see... All of this makes good sense. The food area is perfect and it's not using any water since those are scientific. Alright, so that was a good acquisition. Um, is there anything useful still left at the patent lab? Thinking machines, let's go pick that up. That should serve us well. Actually, nanotech would be better. Let's grab nanotech first. Nanotech. And then some more off-worlds would do us just fine. So... His chem labs are making him really good money. Let's shut those down. And I guess Luke Strange in Twitch chat was Omar Little. Look at all the money. You had some good stuff going on, and I already owned a lot of your stock, so that was the reason for that buy. Uh, our next buy looks like it's going to be. Uh, DJ Joss, since uh, he owns a bunch of stock in all these other people, we would only be giving the slightest bit of money to a uh, bullfighter, but we would acquire a lot of good stock. So I need to sabotage some more of Joss's money makers here. That'll be an EMP right here. So I may as well crash the market on food. Right out, sell down some of that fuel, all the oxygen, crash water down, crash steel out, carbon, chems, getting into glass might be fine. How much do we need for DJ? Almost 400,000. Okay, let's see, sell down the fuel, all the steel. Off-world shipment launched. Look at all the money. Not all of the sabotage on your uh, food farm there was from me, uh, Luke slash Omar, but a good chunk of it was. Maybe 60% of the shutdowns were from me. All right, let's buy up DJ. Now we own all of our cells. Um, Star Paladin is going to be the next easiest buy. But who's scarier? Bullfighter? Let's see. Cash on hand. 200. 
uh, only 50 in resources, so uh, Bullfighter is the scarier one. We'll have to buy him first. And what do I want to improve production on? Let's upgrade chemical production, I suppose. And we've got a lot of claims left to play with. All right, that's kind of surprising. Let's drop uh, a bunch of chem labs. I should have diamond there. And we can switch these guys over to electronics. And get an adjacency bonus for the lab there. What else do we want? Uh, a glass factory would be fine too. And with one more, we can go and drop steel. Although we wouldn't get the adjacency bonus since those are scientific steel mills. Alright, let's drop another reactor then. Alright, so Star Paladin we can buy anytime, but it's Bullfighter that we want. And we'll just sell down all of the valuable stuff. Alright, so there's our main threat gone, Bullfighter, now it's just a matter of getting over to Star Paladin, and we should have him right now. Alright, good game everyone.